in the interest of accuracy, but uh, not from your legal perspective at all. Um, sorry, Mary. Should we chat about it? Well, I do think the lawyer has a sort of a legal perspective. I was um, in Adelaide on the same stage with uh, the senior Swedish judge that Mary referred to, Justice Stefan Lidskov, who is the president of the Supreme Court of Sweden. Um, it was an interesting talk that he gave. It included the observation that it should never be a crime to reveal the crime of the state, and I endorse that sentiment completely. Uh, Linscott left us with a sort of fairly optimistic impression about how things might work out for Assange. And my purpose this evening is to persuade you not to be complacent about what lies ahead of Assange. I think in Australia in the last uh, two years, um, public concern for Assange has diminished. That's to be regretted, uh, and I'll explain why. There are many circumstances, I think, which give real reason for concern for what faces him. And the starting thing to finish off, I think, is this. He embarrassed the American company. And the fact is that if you embarrass the largest country in the free world, then you are likely to suffer their hands. Now, prominent Americans have been calling for his assassination, they've been calling for him to be tried for espionage, and those of you watching this online will not have seen uh, the brief video that we saw before it. In the meantime, Sweden, in fact almost simultaneously, Sweden has um, issued a warrant for his extradition to that country. Now, these Sweden, and here's an important point, Sweden has got, in the expedition treaty with the United States, Sweden has got what's called a witness surrender protocol. If the Swedish authorities have a person in custody who is desired as a witness in America, then the Americans really have to ask that witness to be surrendered, and they'll be taken directly to America um, for that purpose. So the question that is at the foundation of the present difficulties facing this arm is this. Is he justified in thinking that if he goes to Sweden, he will in fact end up in America? And I don't think you need to have a great imagination to understand what lies in front of him if he ends up in America. Um, now, the, the official line uh, from Sweden is they want him to go to Sweden so they can ask him questions about what might have been a low-level sexual assault. Now, I don't want to diminish sexual assault in any way. Please don't understand it that way. But the allegation about which they want to question him, they certainly haven't charged him, the allegation they want to question him about is that during consensual intercourse, he continued having sex knowing that the condom had broken. Okay, that's what it is. That's what it's about in Sweden, according to them. And according to Sweden, the whole extradition thing is so they can take him to Sweden and ask him questions about that. 